I'll be speaking on the auto sector. Uh, uh, 2016 had been very good in terms of uh, the numbers. Uh, till till October, the festive season was also good. Monsoons were pretty good. However, the demonetization has taken a toll uh, on the numbers, and we believe that the next two quarters are going to be painful in terms of uh, volume growth, given that retail sales are pretty low. What we think is that uh, the volume the volume recovery could be higher. Uh, uh, faster in terms of for for two wheelers uh, given the ticket size whereas for four wheelers and cvs it could be it'd take a while given the high ticket size and lack of uh, given discretionary nature of its spending 2017 our view on autos uh, remains to be uh, neutral to positive uh, what we think is that uh, given the government spending which we believe will increase and will be agri dependent uh, we've already seen government has increased their MSP price uh, prices and the Rabi sowing has been three has been uh, uh, three percent higher. We think that this the focus of the budget would be clearly in terms of higher spending to higher government spending, and that will aid uh, the two wheeler demand. Uh, even the pay commission and money has already come in. It's now the issue is about liquidity, and once the liquidity comes in, uh, as the banking sector, as the liquid, as the money starts flowing into the system, uh, you would see that demand coming back. So, 2017 would be the year probably uh, could be good for autos, uh, uh, given these factors uh, to play out. Uh, our own sense is that two wheelers probably could be the gainers. Uh, whereas uh, four wheelers will take a little while to recover. CVs again, uh, we will have to uh, monitor how the regulatory changes come into a CV side. So CVs, we are looking at that once the scrappage policy is announced, uh, you might see higher higher volumes from a next three to four year perspective. So net net, we believe that probably 2017 will be more neutral to positive for autos.